I have 40 a.m. weather briefs and pour overs. That means something fun's happening today. <laughs> Alrighty, all right, set, power's going in. Achieve gear up. November 9 or 7 Yankee, you ready to contact about 100 miles north of the Zephyr Hills Airport. You're clear to the Alpha Uniform Oscar Airport. The uh, direct knit to join Victor 7 Frost City, then it's filed by maintain. Actually, uh, descend to maintain 6,000 now, 6,000. Clear to the Auburn Airport, NITS, Victor 7, direct across city, then as filed, and descend and maintain 6,000 for 8197 Yankee. 8197 Yankee, read back break when you're able, direct NITS. And direct NITS, 97 Yankee. Get a little bit lower, you can actually get some clouds. Yeah, uh, um... That's we're gonna get clouds regardless. Well, now they're screaming at you. Yeah, and I'm still. But you talk to you as you're really contacting them a mile and a half northeast of uh, the airport, making five thousand. That's up to two nine nine three. Up there. Three two nine nine three. Busy, Joseph. Roger, you're really contact one mile off the departure in the runway. Five hundred one four thousand. All the way up to number two nine nine seven. Updraft center. One and dip. For metering? Yeah, getting people in and out of places. Gotcha. Auburn traffic, Twin Comanche 8197 Yankee is three miles short final for runway 36, full stop, Auburn. Alright, 500 stable. Alright, airport 12 o'clock, landing. Auburn traffic, Talk 8700, Tango, <laughs> Alpha 2, Texas, Southwest Ramp, yeah, Alpha, Auburn. Technically be minimums. Go around. Oh, traffic here. Oh. 
Well, you hit your point. Yeah. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Already made it to the Auburn Airport, and uh, I'll explain what we're up to in a little bit. <laughs> so the point of that flight was this is all part of multiple flights. So we flew the Twin Comanche. I passed my multi rate, <laughs> by the way, if that wasn't apparent. Um, flew the Twin Comanche up to get the Cessna 150, um, and we we're gonna take the 150 to um, an avionics shop to get upgraded um, GPS and so we're gonna get the Garmin 175 put in uh, which will be a huge upgrade and then from there um, my brother-in-law and father-in-law are gonna fly the twin and get me from the avionics shop and then we'll fly that back and then fly the twin back home while all that's being done so that's the plan, and more footage to come. Alrighty, successful morning flight over to get the 150. Um, of course, I've been having tons of GoPro issues, so that flight wasn't recorded at all. Um, hopefully, the next, this next portion will. So, going to get the 150 out of the hangar right now, and then fly to South Carolina. So, two hours for me, really two and a half, one hour or less for them, but I'll take the extra flight time. So. They gave me all sorts of a clearance there. <laughs> they gave me radar, yeah, radar vectors, then they told me, no, never mind, it's filed. And then they said, you know what, never mind, one zero zero. Four Singer Bravo, one approach. So, we won't believe it, but we're airborne again off Lake Memphis. Uh, uh, I didn't record the first part because, because, because of altitude, I had to put the squelch on Bravo, squelch to be able to hear it. Uh, it was area. annoying for me to listen to, so I couldn't imagine right, how bad it would be on a YouTube video. Eight, so. uh, seven, four, ten, bro. I think I've made it clear enough what the plan was and what we're doing, but just to reiterate, Trey and I flew the Twin Comanche from Winter Haven to Auburn yesterday. Um, and then we flew it over to Roosevelt Field today to get the 150 out of the hangar. I jumped out of the Twin Comanche, and uh, Trey and my father-in-law are flying the Twin 
to Greenwood, South Carolina, where I'm going to meet them in the 150. Basically, they're picking me up. This thing's getting Number dropped four, off. Fox shot, Fox shot. This so is getting dropped off space. for a panel upgrade. We're going to add the Garmin G175, I think it is. Um, so that will be awesome for instrument flying. So then I took off, picked up my IFR, and I'm on my way to Greenwood. So that is what is happening right now. Upgrade 5994 Tango 5000. 5342, guests to departure radar contact, climb maintain 10,000, turn left heading 320 for your climb. Number 5994 Tango, guests approach out 7 or 299 or 6. 6, 904 Tango, good morning. It's good. I land in long on purpose because of the taxiway. Are non existent here. Butter. Greenwood traffic, Cessna 5, 994 Tango, clear 27 at Bravo, Greenwood. All right, we're here. Time for an avionics upgrade. <laughs> 